Hi, my name is Charles Range from RustyMade.com, and I want to show you a handmade chainsaw built. Uh, I got the set of plans from um, ProCut.com. The plans came, I waited a year, I put my material list together, and I went ahead and built this. And uh, then I went ahead and got the saw. This is a 395 uh, Husqvarna, which is an excellent saw for, for this type of sawmill. Um, what we've got here is a chain driven system that's on some one inch threaded rod and this moves your saw up and down so if I want to cut one inch uh, slats or two inch slats or four by fours I can just uh, adjust my my height right here and this moves on a track that goes uh, back and forth and I'm going to step around the side here and I'll show you what I've done you put your log on here like this and I've got a bolt winch and all I do is I, I got my saw running and I just crank this down through there and that cuts it as fast as, uh, moves it as fast as that saw will cut it. So that's a pretty slick system. I mean, I don't have to push it. It's not hard on my back. And I just take my time and the saw comes right down through there and cuts the piece of wood. We'll go ahead and get a tighter shot of that so you can see how that works. That's a pretty good shot right there. And the plans are very detailed. Um, you just got two threaded rods and some chain. When this turns, the other side turns. And it's a little, uh, it's not as freed up as I'd like right now because it's been sitting out in the weather. But uh, I'm getting ready to pack it away for the winter time and I just thought I would uh, give you a shot of this before I did. Anybody out there trying to put together a sawmill, I got about 600 bucks in this. And the saw was 850, so I can use the saw for multiple things, and then I, I've only got 600 and some dollars in this, instead of 2100 dollars for a bandsaw mill. So that that's a pretty good deal. And these actually came off of Escort, and I cut the hubs off of that and made uh, some axles. But you could do that any way you like. So that's it for the demonstration on the uh, chainsaw mill, and uh, if you're in the market for uh, rebuilding a classic truck, I do have a DVD on that, and there will be a link below the uh, photo of this where you can jump right over, and I've made a DVD on how to restore a classic truck, so um, you don't have to put a lot of money in them. You can just use them around the farm and plow and haul wood and stuff like that, but uh, it's, it's not a real expensive thing if you just go ahead and put a four-wheel drive under it and, and do all the work yourself, you can actually get by pretty cheap. So I do have a DVD on that. Thanks for uh, looking at the sawmill.